Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this one we're going to be talking about 5 settings that I would like to see in Assassin's Creed in the future. Of course, the only settings that are off limits to talk about will be the settings that we've already seen. I'll try to give detail and remain as vague as possible so that you get a better general idea because I'm not going to be very niche about things. But without further ado, let's begin. In Assassin's Creed 1 we got to see the third crusade, however there are the other crusades there, the first and second specifically. There are others under different names, such as the Crusader, the Faint Hearted, or the Peasants Crusader, whatever. Although they usually are part and parcel with these two events, and these two events are very interesting little pieces of history. They're very similar to the Third Crusade, I guess. I, just, I guess they just have different outcomes, but at the same time they have different stories, different characters, and it's just two settings that could work. I decided to infuse them into one point because they're basically the same setting, just different time and they are similar settings to Assassin's Creed 1. However, the first and second crusade are different in a way because they have a different story to them and there are also different cities that they could go to besides from the ones we see in Assassin's Creed 1. So all in all, it could work. We could see these two settings at some point. Now, the Assassin's Creed movie, in my opinion at least, was a bit naff, however, the Spanish Inquisition would make for a very interesting setting. Now, it would probably be quite similar to the Renaissance setting that we got in Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, maybe with a bit more brutality and stuff, because obviously the Spanish Inquisition was a little bit of that gritty stuff that we saw in the movie, that stuff happened, so I think it would be fairly interesting to see this setting in an Assassin's Creed game because we saw it in the film and the setting wasn't the problem with the film, my problem was the, with the film was how it was done and I would like to see this setting done in its full glory because I don't imagine a game would be the perfect way to do that. Of course being set at roughly the same time as the Italian Renaissance there would obviously be some similarities in culture although it would be very different because Spain and Italy weren't exactly the same ever. So it might just be good enough for bringing us back into that time period that works the best for Assassin's Creed while giving us a completely fresh experience. Although I would really really hope that by Spanish Inquisition I don't mean an Assassin's Creed movie adaptation that would make me want to kill people. Next up we have got Ancient Rome. Now imagine Rome during its glory days as Rome, as in the Empire, not necessarily the city of Rome, but the Roman Empire. It would be like nothing we've seen before in Assassin's Creed because back then the culture was obviously a lot different than it was in the Renaissance when we got to visit Rome in its more crumbled state. I reckon seeing ancient Rome would make for a unique and fun experience that we could possibly enjoy and get to see some more origins of the Assassin Brotherhood. We get to see it mature in its earlier years. And that's something that just draws me to ancient based Assassin's Creed games in general, if they were ever a thing. Which they're not yet, but I hope that one day they will be. Rome could be ideal. Another setting that I'd definitely like to see would be medieval England. Now we've seen England during the Victorian setting in the Industrial Revolution, but I feel as if England has a lot to offer in a more medieval setting as well. Poor weather and... Gory Barbarism sounds like a recipe for a really, really violent Assassin's Creed game. That would be fun, I suppose. But the medieval era, so to speak, has always intrigued me as a point in history, as like a historical thing. So I'd definitely like to see this explored more in England in the Assassin's Creed franchise because I feel as if that could work. And finally, we have Ancient Egypt. Now, of course, the rumours are saying that the next game could go to Ancient Egypt, and I do believe these rumours. However, we have no confirmation, so I may as well put it in here, as it is the setting that I have always wanted for Assassin's Creed, really. Since Assassin's Creed 1, I thought, ooh, Egypt would be cool. Well, maybe not necessarily quite since Assassin's Creed 1, but around that time. Around the ending of Revelations was when I started to really think that Egypt would be a cool setting, as it would be really unique as a setting to Assassin's Creed, because we haven't really seen any settings quite like it in the past, the closest being Assassin's Creed 1, but since we're now on a new generation with better graphics, I'd imagine it would be quite a beautiful setting, at least. I also feel as if it would be ideal for an open world game to be set in Egypt, and we just, we just see what happens with that one, see if the rumours are true first, and from there, 
hopefully that one gets delivered on that one's my number one and has been for years but anyway guys there you have it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed be sure to go ahead leave a like subscribe share comment tell me where you would like to see or what setting you would like to see in a future assassin's creed installment and i'll see you all in the next one sorry that i couldn't get any really properly appropriate gameplay for these settings as they've not been done yet if at all so it's kind of impossible but i tried my best and I'll see you all soon, so yes. Uh...